Hey everybody, Brian here from Quantlabs.net. Just wanted to show you uh, what I originally was going to do was to use Java, Java jar files, the MATLAB builder, JA toolbox to be able to develop uh, front ends using plots. But that is older technology, math works, occasionally repackages stuff, renames stuff. So they've renamed that under, as far as I know, compiler SDK. Uh, so even the builder JA toolbox name is no longer. Uh, and then on the other hand, uh, we, we have a MATLAB guide, which I'll show you in a second. I've showed that before. So I'm going to show you how uh, little uh, GUI graphical user interfaces can be created, manipulated within MATLAB, uh, generate code from that, and at the same time, be able to take that GUI front end and turn it into a standalone app. So let me just show you what we're working with. Uh, if you come under uh, MATLAB uh, guide and just look for MATLAB guide examples, uh, you will find um, a series of them. Uh, so we have examples of uh, guide user interfaces, UI, so we're using this one, uh, it's called two axes. So you just run this uh, in your MATLAB uh, command window and you should be able to get it working. Okay, so I've already done that. Now, the other thing is I'm using MATLAB 2015A, just so everybody knows. As I said, we're working with a example called two axes. So let me just pull up the guide um, so we are going to uh, open a new one, actually, uh, right here. So this is our guide. Uh, you can get all kinds of tutorials online on how to build these and, and use these. And, and they're fairly easy. No different than having a uh, Visual Studio with you know little em elements of uh, or controls of radio buttons or you know, text or plots or whatever okay so you can create those when you save it um, or export it it will create an associated uh, M script file which is this guy right here I've already done a code walkthrough on how this works again you can get that through the tutorials but that's not what we're here to do so let me run this application called two underscore axis so when you run it here's the application uh, you can put in your inputs uh, and whatever. I mean, you, you get the idea of a front end uh, that you can get. You can also put plots, 3D plots, all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's guide. So now what do we want to do? We want to be able to, um, it's been all streamlined under the MATLAB current version of 2015A. Uh, it's been converted. Um, so if you come under, um, apps I believe uh, and look for a compiler um, so here we want to use this application compiler and essentially uh, what we're wanting to do um, is basically uh, compile this uh, application as a standalone okay um, so all you have to do is just come under here uh, and this is again MATLAB compiler open uh, let me just see here I've just got another instance of this okay so we have here, here um, our uh, resulting files will get created we get a splash file we're here so we customize that for the, all the install uh, we also get the actual executable exe file which is for runtime we also have to specify the main file um, and then there's your dependency files as well but this uh, compiler process is supposed to pick those up automatically and you can also uh, include any uh, additional resources like sample files maybe a text file or something all you have to do is just press package Here, here's where it gets kind of complicated just so people understand this, you can uh, deploy this, which I'll make this all future front ends that I create for my Quantum Elite members. Uh, I'm going to only use this option here. 
is 5 megabit, meaning it's not going to include as part of the download um, the, the MATLAB compiled runtime um, at all. Because you see the size of it is 870, 807 megs, which is almost a gig, which takes a long time to download. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to include this. Uh, you package it, um, and then you uh, it'll create all those files. I'll show that in a minute. Um, and um, what it'll do is when you uh, run it on your own Windows system, uh, it will take a while to install. It will also take a, a while to run the um, first uh, session because it's got to set up the compile runtime. So do be patient with it. Now, in terms of the actual package in which you do create your um, uh, compiler package under here, two axes. Um, what will happen is you will get your um, application data, and this is your exe that you're going to run. Um, let me just show that in a minute. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We are in the wrong folder. Okay. Okay, let me just set something up here. All right, so under here, I'm showing you this file, the M script for the guide, uh, the figure, the guide uh, file, and this is the, the actual guide file, that, the figure, FIG. And when you create your uh, package that you're about to compile in here, this part here, when you package it, this is what it will create. Um, okay, so it will create a sub subset of folders and uh, all we really care about, and I'll include all of these in the package, or in, in yeah, the package that you'll get for all my quantity members. So here all I have to do is run this exe file, which is the install file. And that's the file that will take a while to set up, which includes obviously the um, the MATLAB compiler runtime. So that can take about five, 10 minutes to set up. From there, what will happen is uh, once it's completed, I'll walk you through the steps and blah, blah, blah. It's pretty simple stuff. It will do a standard um, install, uh, no different than any other program where it will, uh, let me just pull up the wrong, the right folder here. Uh, yeah, here. Okay. Um, basically what I'll do, it will create a, uh, let me just show you, uh, probably better to do it this way here. Okay, so just give me a second here. If you come under um, your program and your program files under, under Windows, you'll be able to uh, get the standard install. Okay? It's no different than if you installed another program, but here you just run this exe file and, and you're off to the races. So uh, that will run no problem. So let me show you the compiled uh, version or a standalone application. Um, and uh, there you go. So that's the, the, the same one that ran in, in MATLAB, this one here. Uh, so this is the actual program, but running as a separate standalone executable. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now I'm intending to distribute all my front end charting and whatever else I develop for my members through this methodology. Um, what I'll include. I'm only doing it for those that don't really have MATLAB or cannot afford MATLAB. Um, you can still use, obviously, the Home Edition, the $150 version, to do all your prototyping in. But when you're trying to extend MATLAB and create executables like this outside of MATLAB, that's where it can get kind of pricey. So not a lot of people can maybe afford it. Um, but uh, as I said, uh, what I'll include is obviously you know my source code the figure file for the MATLAB guide as well as all the distributed files. So all this will get included, okay? But when you run it, all you care about is this exe to set it up to install it and then the final out 
out, you know, the one that's created in your system under program files uh, is this one here under applications. That's it. Pretty simple stuff. Now the question is because it's all Windows, uh, I do my stats and the amount of users I get in Windows. Uh, about 80% are Windows users of, of my total user base, but there's maybe out of that 10% that may be Mac. So um, I, I can do this process for Linux users, but Mac users are another story. So it might take me a couple of months to get an actual Mac edition, but moving forward, if I continue with this methodology of creating executables I create as front ends to whatever I create my front end for my Quant Leap members, uh, majority will be created for Windows users, but there will be still uh, that next chunk, which will be Mac users. So I'm trying to get that created, but um, hoping in my next video segment I'll be able to show you at least doing the same thing but for Linux as well on Ubuntu. Hopefully it'll work out. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, here we are in Linux, uh, Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, we have the exact same version of everything uh, of MATLAB as I do in Windows. I just wanted to confirm that you can build front ends using the same process I showed before in the Windows version. Uh, no different. Um, here's how everything kind of works. Um, essentially, if you uh, go into, let me just show you. On default, uh, what happens is it's, it's slightly different from, uh, let me just show you actually the guide and all that. So here we are in um, the two axes. So I can run two, two axes, no different than uh, the previous uh, version. Let me just run this. So it's no different than what you saw before in Windows. It's exactly actually. Um, you can also build the application uh, the same way some slight differences though. Um, what you'll notice here as far as I can tell it doesn't look like you have a splash screen and all that stuff uh, but everything else is the same you add your main file and you package same as in Windows. Okay so where does everything end up? Okay a couple of differences it's not as elegant as in Windows uh, let me just pull up uh, another one. Where the file ends up uh, on creation uh, when you try to uh, install it is it will, I chose the default, so under um, users, don't think I'll get access to it actually, yeah I should. If I go under users and then under two axes. So this is where it will get installed in here. Uh, no different than the application. You get um, the um, application name right here, but you also get the script here called run two axes. Now I just want you to understand, um, I'm going to open up the uh, readme file. It's slightly different on the MATLAB compile runtime um, what you need to do is you need to run that run uh, two axes shell script like here along with uh, the name or the directory of uh, your your MCR your MATLAB compile runtime if you follow the instructions here um, you will be able to at least uh, figure it all out. Um, uh, I'm not sure where I got. Okay, right here in your MATLAB, you run this MC installer, which I did. I'll just do it again. MC installer. What I'll bring up is. 
all this stuff about um, you know where to get it and uh, but essentially what you need to do is really extract this uh, MCR installer file uh, run it uh, and then install, install it um, let me see if I did that uh, okay let me just find a good Okay. All right. So you can see here when you um, extract the MC installer, you get this little executable install, which will do, and it will install the MCR, the MATLAB compile runtime. Now everything I, I kept as default, so that installed it in. this uh, folder right here so when I just highlight it right this one so that's where it gets installed by default you may have to do it as a root user um, just open up another terminal here okay uh, give me a second here all right, so here we have it under V version 8.5, which is the exact one we want, as uh, explained in that uh, readme file. And then what we can do is uh, when we run right here, as I'm under my two axes, actually, let me just go up one uh, folder. You can see here we get the usual uh, three directories uh, under our user uh, two axes. Let's go under the application uh, and then um, we run the, um, actually if we just ran two axes, it'll bring back what we need. Okay, so it's going to say you need to also include the uh, MCR. Um, so I guess what we can do is this is what we need. So we run run to axes shell along with the uh, uh, directory where the MATLAB run time is. Okay, so it's going to run it. Let's close this window. This window, it can take a while to run. Uh, but it does run, it can verify it. Um, but this process does work within Linux. It's a little more extra work compared to Windows. Um, but here we are, this is on the command uh, line uh, as, a, as an executable. As you can see, that's run. And uh, yeah, it works. As you can see uh, here, the two axes and the, the shell script. All right, so there you go. We can run it on Linux. A lot more involved to associate where the MCR is and that left to pilot runtime. But it does work um, in terms of the Mac. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a lot more easier than the Linux version. But uh, there you go. Two demos in Windows and Linux that. We can take the front ends that developed in MATLAB guide uh, and deploy them into standalone applications for both Windows and Linux. So that's what we can expect down the line. All right, have a good day.